only wanted to sweep. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. The Federal Bureau of Control? That's a new one. Toxic volcanic gas, huh? The FBC is an obscure branch. It only shows up for unusual cases. Well, what's so unusual about volcanic gas? Beats me. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. I need to head back. Hey, over here. Hey there, Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton. <laughs> down at crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Got it, Thornton. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but you know. Inside. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. The mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. 
using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. There's too much sky. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Welcome back, Anderson. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me.
I'll be back in a second. Roger. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, the FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers, shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. Those are real? This is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Step one, examine the corpse. 